our visionary leader, Union Minister Sri Nitin Gadkari ji, Sri C P Gurnani ji, all the dignitaries present here, ladies and gentlemen. At the very outset, I would like to extend my deepest condolences. on the sad demise of business leader and a very major pole who made this mahindra company grow shri keshu mahindra ji i think uh, he had a long life of 99 years and he has served not just mahindra but our country and that's why i think uh, we revere such business leaders uh, having said that i think uh, today is a very auspicious day for the city of nagpur and vidarbha when uh, we are opening the tech mahindra's digital delivery center the center of excellence which is one of its kind center of excellence and as told by cp gurnani ji it would employ 1500 people and would provide best of the digital solutions to its customers so i would like to uh, thank shri cp gurnani ji and the entire team of tech mahindra who have created this beautiful center of excellence i must also thank you uh, mr gurnani ji for wonderfully mentoring our uh, indian institute of management nagpur and i think uh, our leader shri nitin ji had uh, a very perfect choice of choosing shri gurnani ji to head the institution and now it is one of the best institutions uh, created amongst uh, the iims so i think uh, wherever you go you create excellent institutions and that is why this uh, center of tech mahindra is also here which will be one of the best center of excellence i think in today's world we are embracing technology and digitization digitalization data are today's key word and uh, you know the best thing about uh, this digital world is that uh, it is by its design very inclusive it doesn't differentiate whether the person is devendra fadnavis or nitin gadkari or cp gurnani it is based on uh, the virtual logic whereby uh, the first in and first out is on the basis of virtual queue so i think uh, our entire lives are being changed by the technology today and we understand that uh, the way india has progressed in the field of technology in past few years there are few wonderful things which have happened in india because of technology all of us know aadhar is one of them which has uh, you know changed the way our public delivery system uh, used to deliver the gstn network is also excellent example of technology whereby you know when gst came uh, people used to say that it has failed in 40 countries and how it's going to succeed in in india but it is because of the gst and network which we created that the gst has not only stabilized but it has succeeded and uh, this year we could collect 18 lakh crores has gst and i am very happy to share that uh, uh, maharashtra tops the chart so we are the number 
in the in the gst collection again uh, the payment gateway like upi has changed the entire way we used to deal and uh, you know initially people used to say that uh, uh, digital transactions are are very difficult in a country like india it's such a diverse country it has so much of uh, uh, rural area and there is no connectivity how it's possible but today entire uh, you know transactions are uh, getting digital and even uh, you know uh, uh, a sabji wala is also using digital payment gateway like upi or uh, other gateways by which all the digital payments are are uh, are being given so i think we have embraced the technology and when we talk of uh, a 5 trillion economy uh, for india and uh, i always say that if india has to become a 5 trillion economy then maharashtra has to be a trillion dollar economy and for making maharashtra trillion dollar economy or making india 5 trillion economy uh, the biggest thing which we we need to do is to use the technology it is the technology which is uh, the biggest enabler i think it is a force multiplier by which uh, you know we can leap frog and uh, uh, the speed of travel and the speed of data are two things which are going to determine uh, how we are going to progress how we are going to achieve this uh, a uh, trillion dollar or 5 trillion mark and uh, i must tell you that uh, in in the state of maharashtra with the uh, honorable prime minister's initiative uh, of bharat net and what we created as mahanet now we have reached uh, fiber in our state it has reached to all the 29000 villages and with the 5g because this is a center of excellence with the uh, uh, 5g so i think with 5g now it is possible that uh you know healthcare education at next level can reach uh every single village the remotest area of our state i think uh, 5g and fiber uh, have opened a, a, a entire uh, different business opportunity for people uh, whereby you know on one hand it is a business opportunity on other hand it is a opportunity to serve the nation it is a opportunity to serve communities it is a opportunity to uh, you know make all the basic things reach the last man of the state and i think for that the center of excellences like this can play a entirely different role a entirely major role so i think uh, uh, i am very happy that uh, uh, this center of excellence uh, will be serving uh, lot many customers uh, around the world but let me tell you that now the opportunities uh, will be more in the uh, in our country as well so i think the way we are progressing the way uh, you know we are we are inching towards a 5 trillion economy there are lot of opportunities which are going to come to to our country as well now just to tell you that uh, up till now our biggest problem was to you know make reach the healthcare system to the last man of society because no more the new doctors are ready to go to the rural areas they have opportunities in the urban areas so they feel that now all their opportunities uh, which they have in the urban areas they want to grab it and the problem is we have to serve the people in the rural area and now by technology we can connect this entire rural area to the tertiary care using 5g and in the past we have experience that now the technology is at such level that uh, at 100 kilometers from you know uh, uh, the main center somebody touches the stethoscope and 100 kilometers the doctor is sitting and doctor can hear the heart beats and can tell you with precision what's the ailment what is the problem so i think with this type of precision or you see nowadays we are also in the area era of startups so i went to a, a startup conclave and i could see one startup where a uh, few young uh, people had built a machine and that machine could take 50000 photographs of your retina in few seconds and could predict with precision 
what is the problem and what is the solution. So I think our lives are going to change totally uh, due to the advancement of technology and we need to embrace that technology. So I think uh, uh, now all of us know that uh, uh, the data has surpassed oil in its real value. And uh, nowadays we say that data is new oil. And I'm very happy to share with you that the Maharashtra has created such an ecosystem that the 65% of the data center capacity of India is in the state of Maharashtra. And I think uh, uh, now if you look at the, at the real numbers, Maharashtra is also a uh, startup capital because out of 80,000 startups which are registered, 15,000 startups are in the state of Maharashtra. And out of 100 unicorns, 25 unicorns are in, in the state of Maharashtra. But I think uh, this startup ecosystem has to go beyond Mumbai, Pune uh, and, and to some extent, uh, you know, MMR region. It has to come to Nagpur. It has to come to uh, Nasik. It has to go to Kolapur. I think, uh, uh, you know, the center of excellence which you have created, such facilities will enable people to, you know, create a new ecosystem for startup, a new ecosystem for uh, uh, new digital technology uh, in the tier two cities, tier three cities as well. So I'm very happy that uh, you have started this uh, digital delivery center here. And I'm very, very hopeful that it will not stop at 1500 people. It will grow more. And uh, you see, Nagpur has a Midas touch. So whatever comes to Nagpur, uh, it actually flourishes. And with uh, our visionary leader like uh, uh, Shri Nitinji, uh, we have seen the transformation of Nagpur. Nagpur is now one of the most beautiful cities uh, in, in our country. It, it is like any, it is comparable to any global city. And this uh, city has the great connectivity. Now this Nagpur Mumbai Communication Super Expressway Samruddhi Highway has actually, you know, connected it to the port as well. So I think uh, with all these facilities and with uh, uh, initiatives like uh, uh, what Tech Mahindra has started. Uh, I'm very sure that we are going to grow uh, at a greater speed. So I would like to congratulate you. I would like to express uh, all my gratitude towards, uh, uh, you know, companies like Tech Mahindra for uh, starting this center of excellence here. And I would like to assure you that we are with you. So whatever you want to try, whatever you want to expand, we are there to help you. We are there to handhold you. And if there is any trouble, we are there to solve all your troubles. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Jai Hind. Jai Maharashtra.